everyone, this is Chris Abe from BraveheartCanada.com. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be loading up a workout and exporting a workout on Training Peaks and putting it onto my Garmin 920 XT to see if we can run with a, do a structured workout running with power. I also want to put this video to show you how you can export video, uh, export workouts from Training Peaks and put them on your Garmin, um, Garmin 920 XT because I found the instructions on trainingpeaks.com, the blog posts that they have, which I will link into in the show notes today, I found those incorrect. So I wanted to show you how it works with my computer. Most likely your computer is in the same boat. So I wanted to show you how to do that. So let's get started. The first thing that we want to do is the first thing that we want to do is create a workout. So here's my week. I'm going to add in a workout for today. So here I am. I'm gonna plug in. I'm gonna do a run, and I'm gonna title this PM Shakeout Run. And you can title it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna click on Build Workout. And here is I'm gonna do this for duration. And then I'm going to do here, because I'm going to be training with the stride unit and training with power, I'm going to do a percentage of my threshold power. Continue here, and let's build our workouts. So I'm going to do a warm up, and let's say I'm going to do this warm up. I like to build warm up, so I'm going to do five minutes at, yeah, 75% works. Let's, and then I'm going to do another section of that warm up, which is going to be a little bit more intense five minutes let's do 80 percent yeah 264 watts that seems about reasonable and then it's supposed to be an easy workout but because i want some variability to check uh, test out stride and the structured workouts i'm going to bounce around between zone one and zone two so i'm going to label this one zone one and, or actually let's go zone two and i'm going to go five minutes this way and then I'm gonna do, let's see here, let's go 80, uh, let's go back down to 75%. And then let's bounce up to five minutes at 80%. And I'm gonna do that zone two. Because this is an easy shakeout run for me, I already ran this morning, I'm just giving it variety just to test out the power and if it actually tells me that I am over my power or under my power or it just tells me what power I have and doesn't give me a reminder that I should be in a specific zone. So I'm going to test it out like this and I'll let me do that zone one, awesome. And I'm actually going to take this down to two here and let's do a nice cool down cool down of 10 minutes. Now, actually, let's let's do some strides today. So I'm gonna take this out. And let's say I wanted to do some strides. I'm gonna include another repeat section. And I'm gonna do, let's say 10 seconds, uh, or 10 repeats of 20 seconds each at 105% uh, FTP. And then I'm gonna do, 40 seconds recovery, I think that's good. Actually, let's do 15. 15 and 45, that should be good enough. At full recovery, so I'm gonna just say 65% FTP, 215. Excellent, and then let's finish off. Yeah, that, yeah, that should be good enough. So here I created my workout. You can see that it automatically created 40 minutes over here. Um, for distance, because I'm doing this by power, uh, by power and time, it doesn't give me a distance. I'm gonna predict that this is gonna be right around five, actually let's go right around five and a half miles. We'll see. Um, and that is, I'm just gonna put down five miles just to make it an even five. Um, and let's see what, um, awesome. All right, let's export here. And, oh, hold on, uh, would you like to save changes? Yes, I would like to save changes. All right, export workout file here. I'm gonna do a fit because it's best for Garmin. I'm going to have it download to my desktop. And now, we're gonna to have to switch over to the desktop view because this is where Training Peaks' instructions online differ from what I've experienced. All right, 
here I am in my desktop view. You can see that I've already plugged in my Garmin via the USB, uh, the USB cord. And you can also see my PM Shakeout workout here. That's the fit file right here and I just downloaded it to my desktop. So unlike the instructions on training peaks, which I found didn't work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually open up my Garmin file. It's going to pull me into my finder. You can also do this by clicking your finder button and it will pop up right here. And I'm going to click on Garmin and this is the Garmin device. Undo that, go down to new files, undo that. And I'm just going to drag and drop here into new files and there you are and then I'm going to eject wait for that to eject and I will catch you back in a bit All right, now that we know that we have created our workout in Training Peaks, exported it onto the desktop, imported it onto the Garmin, what we can do is we can check to make sure that it's on. So I've ejected my Garmin from my computer. I have unplugged it. And after you unplug it, it should say updating. That means it has new material on it, which is a good sign. And then you're gonna to get to the home screen. Obviously I'm doing a run, so I'm gonna to go to run view. I'm going to hit the side button right there. I'm going to go to training, so one down. Hit the enter. I'm going to go to my workouts, and that's the one that I created for tomorrow called 5x2, which I will also be updating you on, and then also PM Shakeout. That's the one I'm gonna be taking you on today to see if it actually works. You can check here to see if it's actually, you created it correctly. So you can scroll down, you see that it's warm up five minutes and then it gives me the watts. Now it's gonna be interesting to see when I go for my run today, whether if I go over that watts, it alerts me and beeps me saying over watts. Or if I'm under that wattage, whether I'm under watts. That's gonna be whether this is truly helpful for creating your workouts. Uh, we will see that and when I take you on my run later on. I hope you liked uh, the shots from the run. Um, my apologies for the stabilization issues, um, but until a wealthy donor provides me the funds for a drone uh, so I can do that, you know, the power overlays with the Garmin Verb, um, it's gonna have to do. Uh, but I hope you like that. It's a brief interlude that allows, you know, it breaks up the video so it's just not me talking on a screen and um, droning on about a screencast. Um, so let's break it down. Let's break down the key features and the key bonuses and drawbacks of of being able to do, uh, being able to export those files from Training Peaks and put them on your Garmin. So the major feature that I liked about that is that it alerted me that my each lap was done. So I set up that lap, so five minute warm up, five minute build into zone two, and then bouncing around between zone and one zone, uh, zone two by five minutes. At the end of the five minutes, it would count me down, saying I have five seconds left, four seconds left, three seconds left by beeps, and then when a new uh, lap started, it actually reminded me what wattage zone I should be going at or uh, be running at in that next lap. So let's say I was doing mile repeats at zone four. At the beginning of that lap, it would say zone, uh, run one mile zone four and it would give me those wattages. It did not though, and this is the major drawback, it did not alert me that I was going too slow or too fast, or I'm sorry, it had low power or high power. So if I slowed down to a walk while I should have been going fast, it didn't say power too low. Or if I was surging up a hill when I should be taking it easy, it didn't alert me that I was going too high. So that was the major drawback. I did like the alerts, I did like the reminders of what zone I should be in, but after those went off, I just had to switch over to my other screen to my typical screen, which has my 10 second average, 
and look at my watts there. So it didn't give me my watts on the lap screen. And then the major drawback there is it didn't alert me. So it, it allows you to kind of feel out your run a little bit more um, instead of dictating it. Um, I'm sure that if you created a bike workout and exported a bike workout and ran a bike workout, it would give you those. Um, but uh, that's another experiment for another day. Uh, one other key feature that I liked about the Training Peaks versus creating a workout in Garmin Connect is that Garmin Connect actually doesn't allow you to set a power zone. So only if you create a workout in Training Peaks can you set a power zone. I know in Garmin Connect you can do heart rate, you can do cadence, you can do pace, uh, all of which are very variable, especially when you're working with GPS, but you can't set a power zone yet. So hopefully that's coming down the line in Garmin Connect. Uh, another benefit of with Training Peaks is if you export a workout like this, just like when you're analyzing bike workouts, when you're analyzing run workouts, you can compare what your expected or what your your goal FTP was to what you actually ran. And in the post run analysis, you can look at that the the graph from what you were supposed to run and see what you actually ran. So I do like that feature. So will I continue to use this? Not every single day. I think if you're just going out for an easy run, just either use Power Race or just hit use the regular run with the with the Garmin app built in. Um, I would use this for more complex workouts. So let's say I was doing a complex workout, let's say I was doing a long run where the first uh, quarter of a mile I was supposed to go at one pace and the second three quarters of a mile I was supposed to go at a different pace. I would use it for that because that's a very complex workout and that's easier to build in something like Training Peaks than building it on your watch or building it on Garmin Connect. So I do like that feature and I will be using it for the more complex workouts. Otherwise, I think I'll just let it be until they, they work out the glitches and start when I can, it alerts me that I'm, I should be in a specific power zone. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I will have the steps typed up and published on my website, braveheartcanada.com. So uh, be sure to check those out on how to upload or put one Garmin video, or um, excuse me, putting on a Training Peaks workout on your Garmin. Um, one final note, I just remembered, one final note is that this is already, if you have the 935 um, or the Phoenix or the Edge, you can have the Training Peaks app plugged in and um, plugged in and it'll automatically export your workouts on Training Peaks to that. Uh, so that's a handy feature. Um, but with the 920, because it's an older model, it does not allow you to do that. So um, and I don't see them updating the 920. I think you're just gonna have to upgrade to the 935, which I'm hoping to do soon, but we'll see. Um, until then, going with the exporting feature is your best bet. Anyway. Hope you liked the video. Make sure you hit the like, make sure you hit the subscribe. Check out the website, braveheartcanada.com for those full instructions and check out my next video.